some of the nofap advice and the addiction advice out there is about okay if you feel lonely you're gonna fap right so they're like okay because you're lonely and you have no girlfriend or no social life you have to fap is this actually a cause because a lot of people if you go on the reddit page or like you watch self-improvement youtubers they'll be like yeah bro because you have no girl you're literally gonna fap your brain desires to procreate your brain desires to procreate right if you read the freedom model you know that the brain does not make desires your mind does your mind and the brain are two separate things by the way your mind is your thoughts and all that your brain is just like this circuit circuitry shit your mind makes desires so what's actually happening here when you're lonely and then you feel like fapping now so you're so you have this problem of fapping right fapping and using porn and then because you know about recoveries ideology and like no fap and stuff like that a lot of the times they have something where it's like okay the underlying cause of what you're of why you're using so underlying cause right which means that it's from like your it's like some emotional thing that is apparently making you use this fucking um porn really just like okay zoom out real quick if you really look at it how is this correlated okay emotions i am lonely all right how is being lonely associated with porn you might be like oh well porn is like an escape from that feeling right and it's like into another world and it's super pleasurable okay can't you just escape with anything else? And on top of that, pleasurable. It's just a video. You subjectively pleasure it. And it's just a physical feeling. The physical feeling is like actually like pretty shit when you're not mentally fantasizing. So that's out of the way. How, how, does, like, how does that like solve anything with the loneliness? At most, it just distracts you from it. Now... With these underlying causes, what happens is people have a problem, like their heavy usage of PMO, and then they know about all the trauma advice and all that, and they're like, okay, well, what's a, um, you know, this must be like something, some emotional baggage I'm holding on that's making me do this. So what what is making me do this? And then they discover, ha, oh, oh, I'm lonely, that's why. You know, ever since I was a kid, I didn't really have good, like, like, they go down this whole trail, oh man, this is why uh, I'm lonely. That's why I feel like this. Fuck, that's why I feel compelled to use. But the thing is, everyone has these. If everyone looked for some sort of emotional baggage, they'd find it. But not everyone is a dr heavy drug user, and not everyone is, is a heavy fapper. Why? Because a m m most people who don't fucking get entrenched in this recovery shit, don't believe that some fucking trauma is making them do anything. You know, they just kind of see it as something that they like to do. And, you know, that could change over time. And, yeah. You know, I used to like Minecraft, right? I used to fucking love playing Minecraft PvP. I literally thought, this is how I viewed it. I viewed it as something that, like, okay... I am, like, never going to quit this. I can't see myself quitting this. It's so fun. I'd play PvP with the players. Um, I'd get mad sometimes. I'd really... I'd make, like, Minecraft PvP montages. It was so fun. I can't see myself not playing Minecraft. I said that a while back. But then I started to reevaluate Minecraft. I started to see, okay, this is just getting me mad. Um, I feel kind of drained after. I feel super tight. Is there better things I could do? Um, I want to go to sleep earlier. The people who I even play with aren't even that, like, fun. I mean, there's some people that are fun, but the game, I, I start playing, I'm, it's kind of repetitive. I, I do this stuff all the time. Like, it's literally the same thing over and over. And I got tired of it, and I got bored of it, and I stopped using it. <clears throat> but you see what was happening there. I was re-evaluating. That's what will help you change your porn use. Not discovering like, oh, th my loneliness is finally um, 
my loneliness is causing me to go use this porn. No, that's not what's happening. You simply see value in using porn. And you may have a belief, okay, that loneliness is causing you to use porn. Because listen, cause is a very strong word. It means like you have no say in what to do when you say cause. But what's actually happening is you are choosing. You're not caused. You're choosing. And you're choosing based off of reasons. One of the reasons may be I'm lonely. But that's a flawed reason because it's not a direct cause. And you, the viewer, the person quitting, have the power to not view it as a cause. Only you have the power to do that. I can only provide you information. I can only tell you the truth, the right information. You have the power to, whether you want to believe it or not, whether it makes sense to you or clicks to you or not, you believe that. You make that decision. If you don't believe me and you're like, okay, well, you know, this guy sounds kind of dumb. I can see why loneliness is a cause. Then, hey, you can go on and keep believing that loneliness is a cause to your porn use and keep feeling compelled by being lonely. But if you want to actually like take advantage of your free will, realize that this is not actually a cause. This isn't like making you do anything. It's literally beliefs. It's only your beliefs. So yeah, that's basically your video. And hopefully you enjoyed the video, found it useful. If you like this shit, um, like it so it boosts on the algorithm and, you know, we could just spread the freedom model and all this info and just completely fuck this shit up. What I want to do, okay, hopefully, if you stick around like till here, you're fucking goaded, but listen to this fucking secret plan. What I want to do is make the freedom model the new nofap. So it's a it would be it would definitely be like really fucking hard i don't even know if it's possible because nofap has a whole fucking like forum but make all the advice that's oh my fucking god yawn counter number one all the advice that's on nofap right all of it is super mainstream and it's just basic it's just basic addiction ideology but NoFap is a specific spot where they talk about sexual energy and stuff like that. My dad just came close, but NoFap is a pretty specific spot because it's in the self-improvement niche. It's a very big thing in the self-improvement niche, and it's a very uh, tight niche. So if we were to make the Freedom model replace NoFap, that would literally be the best thing ever. Think about how many people would quit. It's definitely not likely to happen, but you know, it's only like a couple channels that be talking about the freedom model here. Like me, Jay, the freedom model channel, and that's about it. It's literally all I know that talks about the freedom model. If we could spread this shit and make it the mainstream over NoFap, that would be lit. I'm just saying, um, yeah. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any questions, join the Discord. If you want the freedom model, join the Discord too. Um, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Peace. Mwah.